Soil resistivity is a key factor for determining what the resistance of a grounding electrode will be, to what depth it must be driven in order to obtain low earth resistance, and even the type of grounding system that should be designed for this location and facility. The resistivity of the soil varies throughout the world and changes seasonally. Resistivity is strongly affected by the content of electrolytes in the soil, the moisture content, and even its temperature. Soil resistivity measurements are therefore critical for designing and constructing a grounding system appropriate for your site and requirements. This video demonstrates a simple way to measure soil resistivity known as the Wenner method. Our test instrument will be the AEMC Ground Tester Model 6472. This instrument automatically calculates and displays soil resistivity with no manual calculations necessary. The Model 6472 also features advanced capabilities such as test currents up to 250 milliamps for testing soils with high resistivity, automatic test frequency selection for testing in high EMI environments, and the ability to connect to a computer via AEMC's DataView data analysis software. In this video we refer to both soil resistivity and soil resistance. To avoid possible confusion, it's important to have a basic understanding of what these terms mean and how they differ. Simply put, resistance, represented by the letter R, is a property of a specific physical item of definite size and shape. While resistivity, represented by the Greek letter Rho, is a general property of a material irrespective of its shape and size. For example, a 500 foot length of 10 gauge copper wire has a specific resistance measurable in ohms, while copper as a material possesses a general resistivity expressed in units such as ohm centimeters or ohm meters. Changing the length or gauge of the wire changes its resistance, while the resistivity of the copper from which it is made remains the same. The winner test involves placing four equally spaced and inline electrodes into the ground. The two outer electrodes, called the current electrodes, inject current into the soil. The two inner electrodes, called the potential electrodes, measure voltage, which is then used to calculate soil resistance. The Model 6472 automatically calculates soil resistivity using a formula that assumes the auxiliary electrodes are inserted into the ground to a depth that does not exceed 1 20th of the spacing distance between electrodes. So for our demonstration, we will place the electrodes 10 feet apart and no more than 6 inches deep. Other distances can be used as long as depth does not exceed 1 20th of the spacing. Note that when calculating the spacing to depth ratio, the spacing distance is the primary value. Determine the electrode spacing first and then adjust the depth accordingly. The two outer electrodes are connected to the instrument's outer terminals, labeled H and E. The inner electrodes are connected to the inner terminals, labeled S and ES. To enable the instrument to accurately calculate soil resistivity, we must enter the electrode spacing distance. We start by ensuring the instrument is configured for the correct units of measure. Turn the instrument style to the setup setting. Then press the display button. The units of measure, either meters or feet, appears blinking on the screen. Pressing the up button toggles between these two options. In our example, we're using feet. So if this is set to meters, press the up button to change the setting. Next, turn the dial to the four pole row setting. To enter the spacing distance, press the yellow button labeled second. The symbol second appears on the screen, indicating the buttons will now perform the actions labeled in yellow. Press the distance button. The word distance appears on the screen and the first digit in the distance field blinks, indicating it is in edit mode. Use the up and right buttons to navigate through this field and make selections. For example, to set the distance to 10 feet, press the right button to navigate to the second digit and press the up button to change this to 1. The field now should be set to 10 feet. You can save the setting by pressing the yellow button to enter second mode, then pressing the distance button. You are now ready to take a soil resistivity measurement. To do this, press the start button and hold it down for at least 2 seconds. After a few moments, the resistivity reading appears displayed in ohm meters. The resistance of the soil between the two potential electrodes is also displayed, shown in ohms. 
To save the measurement in the instrument's memory, press the MEM button twice. This saves the reading along with the date and time the reading was taken. This stored record can later be displayed on the instrument screen and downloaded to a computer using DataView for further analysis. Note that you can also perform a winter test by taking a solar resistance measurement and then manually applying a mathematical formula to calculate solar resistivity. However, if you regularly need to perform soil resistivity testing, we suggest purchasing an instrument such as the Model 6472 that automatically calculates this value. This will save time and eliminate potential math errors. This concludes our quick demonstration of performing a winter soil resistivity measurement with the Model 6472.